Okay guys, hey guys, funny story, I was just at Feng Vu trying to show you guys the computer store and I had my microphone disconnected the whole time. So we went in there trying to buy computer speakers and the ones that I wanted were out of stock. So we checked online for Nguyen Kim. And even though I've showed you guys this store before, we're gonna do a full walk around Nguyen Kim. Just like I did in Feng Vu, show you guys a computer store. But this is more of a general electronic store. Here are the speakers that I was actually looking for for my computer when I was in Phong Vu. The same one I want is right here. Yeah, so that's the one I want. So this is the one I tried to buy in Phong Vu. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a little overlay footage, I don't know. But it was out of stock, so we decided to come over here. Can't believe I screwed up that video. It does look cool. Look cool, huh? Mm -hmm. It's either this one or this one. What do you think? I'm gonna let her make the decision on which one we should buy. And then I am still gonna do the walk around, I'll show you guys this whole store. So while we're waiting for the sales clerk, let's check out these monitors. Not as fast as the selection as Fong Vu, but still not bad. This is a really nice one. Samsung for 4.9 million, so 5 million and a 9% discount. The monitor I have, I had sent in from the States. It's an old Republic of Gamers monitor. It's only in 3K. It doesn't do 4K because 4K for an IPS display wasn't available at the time. I'd like to get like a wraparound monitor like this for my gaming. Something a little bigger though, about what I have at home. It's a lot of things I'd like to buy. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. Oh, 12 million PC here, Intel i5, four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Intel onboard GPO, definitely not for gaming. Maybe some light office work. Scanners, printers, Wi-Fi, 6.59 million. I bought one of these printers here before, but I was moving around, so I kept moving it around and I was spilling the ink everywhere. And eventually I got tired of carrying it everywhere, so I just gave it away. Hello. Go over here and check out my girlfriend. Out of stock on is this one in stock? No, out of stock. Is this one out of stock? No. It's Let's mine. get that one then. Yeah. 3.5 mm. Yeah, yeah. So we tried to buy this one at Phong Vu and it was out of stock and it's out of stock here too. I'm very disappointed that I ruined that whole video but I know it's a plight that a lot of YouTubers run into where they come out and they film a video and they find out that their microphone was unplugged and the whole thing had no sound. I was in there for 25 minutes just showing you guys everything to the minute detail. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in there and do that again. Hopefully I can make it up for you guys not seeing that video and show you guys around Nguyen Kim. I came in here before and I went to buy nose trimmers but I didn't really show you around the store. This time I'm showing you around the store. The speakers I was using for my computer previously was a little speaker just like this. Actually rather expensive at 3.6 million, but that's what I paid and I had it for about three years now. And I turned it on and it made some really loud snapping and crackling sounds. So I'm gonna have it repaired, but for now I need some sound so I can edit videos on my PC and not use little earbuds. I've said this to you guys once before, but Xbox is really not a thing here in Vietnam. The main thing for console gaming is PlayStation. The main gaming platform itself is mobile gaming. And I think that goes for just about all of Asia. It's a heck of a TV right there at 29.8 million. Vending machines. Well, let's get back to the store. This is where you'll make your payments and check out. 
They even got cameras here. One of these days I'd like to get me a pair of those Astro gaming headsets. The Bluetooth one with the microphones. Let's see that they have those here. Fong Boo had them though. Headphones, earbuds, wireless Sony. Sony's, I hear these are pretty good. Earbuds, Bluetooth. All your laptop displays here. Let's just look at one randomly, see what we get. So this one's sitting at 18.39 million. It's got an i5, eight gigabytes of RAM. Onboard graphics. Wonder what the best laptop they have. 25 million. I'm just going based completely on price. I think 25 million. This would be the best laptop I see in the store. Intel i5 12500. 8 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. It's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. I guess it'd be all right for gaming. 15.6 inch display. So we found the speakers we wanted to buy, but like I said, I promised you guys a show around the store. So this is four levels. So let's keep walking. Now this is the TV floor. And as you guys can tell, I figured out the light flashing problem. I told you guys, you guys would never see the light flashing again. I'm keeping my promise. Thanks to my community members, I was able to figure this out. And boy, you guys ever seen a almost 200 million VND television before? Okay. 8K HDR. My God. And it looks great too. How big is this thing? For the TVs, let's see what else we got here. Ah, what's really popular in Vietnam, of course, is karaoke. Those big old speakers they drag out there, drink their beer, and caterwaul to the late hours of the morning. It's like the cheaper ones are going for about three million. My sister has this. Oh, you have that one? Let's go check that one out. So this is one my girlfriend's sister's husband. Oh, what a mouthful. It's the speaker he has worth 12.3 million it's a big one too of course we're gonna want the gold plated microphone <laughs> all right let's go upstairs to the next level oh they got the audio system before we head up there let's look at these Look at those speakers, they'd kick me out of my apartment complex if I bought something like those. 
<laughs> wow. All right, guys, let's head up to the next level. Judging by the temperature change as I came up here and from what I see in front of me, this floor definitely has a lot of air conditioners. You guys ever wondered what those on the wall air conditioners cost? Here we have it. I guess you can get them as cheap as six million or up to 13.5 million. They probably have more expensive ones too. It's a 16 million R1 right there. Let's see what else they got on this floor. And here we have our washing machines. So how much does a washing machine go for in Saigon at no income? Looks like the prices start at about 14 million. That's one for 10. And from what I see, they go down to as low as 8 million for a washing machine. That's some big ones right here. That's actually 10 million for that. And onto the refrigerator section. So what's the price range for refrigerators in Ho Chi Minh City? These smaller ones down here are about 6 million. These bigger ones are 12. 13 million for these. Guys, I'm just rounding up a little bit when I say that. That's a big one for 18 million. Another for 20. There's this monster for 36.7 million. Wow. Heck of a refrigerator. It's got freezer drawers. Uh huh. That's those little refrigerators you see in the stores. Going from nine, nine to ten million. Fifteen million for that one. Ooh, there's a hundred and five million refrigerator right there. Wow. I guess refrigerators can get expensive. I never knew. Here in Vietnam, when you rent an apartment, usually they come fully furnished with a refrigerator already inside of it. So I was never really aware of how much these things cost. This is probably something on the long lines of what, what I have. I don't know. You guys can check out my video or I give you an apartment tour. You guys want to see my refrigerator. Let's head up another level and see what else we can find. All right. Sorry guys, I had to switch my battery real quick. 4K really burns through these old GoPro batteries. It looks like we're on the home appliance section here of Nguyen Kim. I've showed you this section before in one of my videos when I went to walk through the malls. So we won't focus too hard on this, on the rice cookers, on the microwaves, pots and pans, the knives, all your houseware. So it's just not like an electronic store by itself. Buy pots and pans here. The vacuum cleaners. That's interesting. I've never seen a vacuum cleaner in Vietnam. I've never seen carpeting in Vietnam. Maybe in some hotels, but definitely never in any places I lived at. It's your heavy duty vacuums here. Pretty cheap too, under four million. These little air conditioner units. And there's you got your induction stoves and your gas stoves. I showed you all this stuff before in a previous video when I went into Nguyen Kim into the mall. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I don't know what that is. This is an air compressor. So we need to fill up your tires. Maybe this is a water filtration system? Any product experience in Asia? Certainly is. One of my commenters mentioned that you don't have to spend too much money on bottled water here. He says the, the water is safe. I don't know if what he's saying is true, so of course do your own research. But he says he just uses a filter on his water tap and drinks it straight out of there. Oh, it's gonna be really cool right here. All these little air conditioners. Those portable air conditioner units that they roll up. I went to Cat Tien National Park and they rolled one of these into my room, my cabin. So that's the price on those. Anywhere from two million. This smallest one over here. To four million, these bigger ones. And these ones are at seven million. Feels pretty good too. Looks like you can buy exercise equipment here too. I know I can. You guys are in the market for a treadmill this is where you would go never really understood the appeals of treadmills 
Well, it seems like if we wanted to walk, why not just go outside and walk? That's just me. These massage chairs, 51 million. This one over here is a little bit more at almost 70 million. <laughs> little handheld massages. All right. Well, it looks like we're at the highest level. We can't go up any further, can we? There's no more stairs to go up. The only thing that's above here, guys, is the service department. So the only thing left to do after showing you guys Nguyen Kim, after blowing my Kong Vu video, is to go buy the uh, speakers for the computer. And I'll show you guys that. So let's go. So we're back down on the first floor after four floors of escalators. And I had this discussion with my girlfriend. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take my Fong Vu video and I'm gonna cut it up down to about four or five minutes with voiceovers. And I'm gonna make that for Patreon. So it's not good enough content at that point with this voiceover. So if you guys wanna see it, sign up for the Patreon and it'll be on there. So now that we're all finished up at Nguyen Kim, we're gonna grab these speakers. Because since my speakers are fried, I need some new ones. So these are the ones we settled at little more expensive than I wanted to at 2 million it's almost 80 bucks but I've been working really hard lately I think I deserve a nice pair of speakers for my computer so let's grab these so the way it works here they find the product on the shelf he's gonna scan the QR code and he checked earlier for us so it is in stock so he took all of my information and now we're gonna go over here and pay for it the transaction right here guys I'm gonna cut the camera so you guys don't see my valuable credit card details about five minutes later we're all paid for we got our bill and we're gonna take to this guy here so it came down a little elevator chute right there so now he's gonna open up this is customary in Vietnam it's not like when you buy stuff in the States they have to show you that everything is included in the package even though they have Bluetooth, my computer's so old it doesn't have Bluetooth capabilities. So I really wanted to make sure they had a basic 3.5 millimeter jack to it. My computer's 12 years old. I've been using it for over a decade. I had it shipped here to Vietnam by my father. Bluetooth mode. We checked out the sound, we paired it to my phone to make sure the sound sounded good. And it sounded halfway decent. It's within my price range and I need to get sound so I can get back to editing YouTube videos <laughs> without using my earbuds. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys liking and commenting my videos. If you guys wanna see more content like this, please consider subscribing. You guys are absolutely awesome and I hope to God you guys stay that way. Okay, well, we're, now I'm just checking the sound to see if this works. Is everything plugged in? Are we okay to go?